I wanted to uh, kind of uh, dive into what's happening with Iran and Afghanistan because Afghanistan, you know, they basically, again, as everybody knows, they, NATO uh, uh, and, and the United States left um, in 2021. I mean, I, I say they sort of left because the CIA is obviously still there and, and people Definitely. should remember that the CIA were the first ones to invade Afghanistan. They have a paramilitary faction in the CIA and those were the first troops in uh, uh, Afghanistan. It's not like Iraq. It's, it's actually a bit different. But in any case, you know, uh, the situation is very precarious. I mean, people have been suffering for 20 years under occupation. Um, they, you know, they, they, they're they barely reeling from it. So um, how does this whole situation with Iran come into play now, uh, especially with all this American equipment that's left over in Afghanistan? Just give us kind of the, the, the basic uh, uh, facts, if you if you'd please. Well, the Americans definitely have a role to play, and they are, uh, the, by using sanctions, they forced the, the Taliban to abide by some of uh, their demands. That's uh, so, in order to let a limited amount of money to enter the the central bank of uh, Kabul. But uh, this, what we saw recently, basically, what happened was when the uh, Americans were leaving Afghanistan and the government was about to fall. The Iranians had a choice. They either fought against the Taliban or they tried to make help the country remain peace and stable. Now, some in Iran wanted Iran to go to war with the Taliban. And actually, they were liberals. They were the pro-Western liberals who were saying that we should, you know, go to the defense of the Tajiks uh, or Persian speakers, the Hezares, uh, who are predominantly Shia, and the Uzbeks and, and others. And, you know, and, and support them because all them to, they together are more than 50 percent. The, the Pashtuns or, you know, the Taliban is basically Pashtun. They are 40 percent, roughly roughly 40 percent of the country. Of course, the Pashtuns are two different, broadly speaking, tribes, but you know that's a different story. So these people were sort of, you know, and it's it's sort of ironic because the people who were calling for Iran to wage war against the Taliban, they were totally against the Russians in Ukraine. So the people who in Iran were saying we should go to war with the Taliban. Are also are also supporting NATO in Ukraine, but their logic is not dissimilar to the logic of the Russians. They, they these people were saying we should go to the support of the Persian speakers, mm -hmm. and uh, well, why not the Russian support Russian speakers? But yeah, that hypocrisy is uh, aside. The Iranian government said, "Look, we have to find we have to keep Afghanistan peaceful," and it's had enough war. And the Taliban agreed to, you know, to leave people alone. And to a degree, to a degree, they didn't abide by all their commitments, but they, to a degree they did. They didn't carry out the mass murders that they did uh, in the 1990s, for example. Uh, in the 1990s, they were brutal. Yeah. But uh, this time around, they were you know, more sane, less brutal. And the Taliban is not one ideology. You have these moderate groups and then you have the more radical groups, the right. Hakon network and, and so on. Yes. But now, all that aside, recently a couple of things happened. One is that the Taliban has been preventing water from and water that uh, from entering Iran. The, they they prevent uh, uh, the the water from coming uh, water that Iran legally is, should receive from from, from the Helmand uh, River, river right and, exactly yes uh, uh, based upon international law and uh, bilateral agreements and commitments made by the two sides the two sides the Taliban says there is no water. The Iranians have shown satellite footage and said there is water, but if you say there's no water, then let's take our experts to see it, or tech, you know, technical experts to see what the problem is, and the Taliban said no. So that's one issue. The Iranians, on the other hand, have, have you know, because this whole 
water issue has been going on for a long time. The Taliban is trying to uh, to to create a, an artificial crisis in the east and southeast of Iran through preventing ordinary Iranians in those part of the in that part of the country from being able to use water. So the Iranians said, okay, if, if that's how you're going to do things, then we're going to do, we're going to build a wall. Sort of like Trump's wall <laughs> uh, going to Mexico. So the Iranians began to build a wall. I mean, the parts of the wall were al already built, but they want to com they wanted to complete it. And this wall would be very devastating for the Taliban because Iran is a country where many things are heavily subsidized. Heavily subsidized. So, for example, how much does a liter of gasoline cost in Vienna? I don't know. I I, uh, I know you. I know you don't have a car, but roughly speaking, <laughs> uh, I I, uh, I I can tell you California um, because most of the viewers are Americans. They were giving me the estimates. I think the worst they got was like seven, six, seven dollars a gallon. Uh, yeah, so, I, well, in your city, it's more expensive, but yep. in Iran, the price of gasoline is. There are two. There are two prices. They're, they have two different prices. It's between three cents and five cents. Oh, come on, right? this is heaven. <laughs> so if you say a gallon, uh, each liter, uh, four liters is, is a gallon. I think right. the Canadian gallon is five. I don't but... use imperial system, but <laughs> yeah, okay. So we'll leave it at that. But it, for for every liter, it's three to five cents. Now the Taliban, they would smuggle basically free uh, free fuel into Afghanistan and other things in Iran are subsidized as well such as uh, you know, many things uh, because the, the government gives all sorts of subsidies so the the Afghan government the, well the, the the Afghan economy not the government uh, it, it it needs Iranian, Sub heavily subsidized Iranian fuel. So the Iranians are I saying, see. well, if you don't give us our water, then, uh, sorry if I keep looking up because I want to, I think the the, the screen, you can see the screen on my glasses. But uh, uh, the Iranians are saying, if you're not going to give us our water, then you can't have our uh, subsidized gasoline and you can't have our other subsidized goods. And the only way you can get it will be from the official uh, border yeah, uh, I see. Um, entry points and and exit points, and so the one place where they were building a wall a, a few days ago, the Taliban started shooting at those people who were working to build the wall to to complete the wall, and that's where the the conflict started. And uh, for a few it was a few hours. Two Iranian soldiers were killed inside Iranian territory. Then the Iranians began to shell the Taliban. Um, I think a, a significant number of them were killed and a lot of their assets were destroyed because the Iranians were able to shell deep inside of Afghanistan, of course. So that episode, though, ended after a few hours and things are stable now. But and also there's uh, the issue of smuggling drugs because Afghanistan, thanks to the Americans and thanks to all these dirty wars, it is Opium production has gone up. The, you know, wherever the Americans are, whether it's the Golden Triangle in uh, East Asia, or whether it's Afghanistan in West Asia, or whether it's Colombia and South America, you know, there's, the drugs always reason, flow. For some reason, that's where you can find uh, the drugs. Right. But in any case, uh, the, the 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 Taliban and groups affiliated to the Taliban or, or groups tolerated by the Taliban, the Taliban, they export drugs through uh, the Iranian border. And that's another reason why they're building the wall. I think the wall, though, will be completed in a few months. So it's going to put a lot of pressure on the Taliban to think more seriously about allowing the flow of water.